I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make a Mexican triptych. I'm going to take two fingers right in the center and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line to the left, come back to the dot, straight line to the right. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a straight line down, come on the right hand side, straight line down. Now at the bottom, straight line across, connect. I come over to this upper corner and I draw a straight diagonal line up straight line down, come back to the corner down here on the left and I draw a straight diagonal up, connect. I come on the right hand side, we're going to do it again. In the corner, straight diagonal up, straight line down, come back to the corner on the bottom right, draw a straight diagonal up. Now I'm going to bring this line a little bit down so it connects. Come back to the center. We're going to draw a big curve line up, over, and connect. On top of that curve line, I'm going to draw little curve lines all the way across. Keep going, keep going, keep going, connect. Okay. Inside this space, I'm going to draw curve line, straight line back, connect, and I'm going to put one, two, three little circles on the left and one, two, three little circles on the right, and if you have room, one little circle right there at the top, okay? Now I come down to the left and I'm going to mimic these lines again. So I draw a straight line down, come back to the top, straight diagonal, straight line down, straight diagonal up, and connect. We're making this symmetrical, so whatever I do on this side, I'm going to do on this side, the right to the left. So I come back over and I draw my straight diagonal up, straight line down, straight diagonal down, straight line down. Okay? Now I come inside this middle rectangle and I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, whoops, connect. And inside that I'm going to draw another rectangle. So I draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line over, connect. Okay. I come back to the left hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, curve line down, straight line, straight line. Let's do it again. Curve line, curve line down, Curve line down, straight line, straight line, connect. And one more, curve line, curve line down, curve line down, straight line, straight line. Again, because we're doing it symmetrical, whatever is on the left, I now draw on the right. Curve line, curve line in, curve line in, straight line, straight line. Curve line, curve line in, curve line in, straight line, straight line. One more. Curve line, curve line in, curve line in, straight line, straight line. Okay. Now I come back over and on each corner I draw a curve line in, out, connect. Next corner. Curve line in, out, connect. Come on the bottom one, curve line in, up, 
connect, and last corner, curve line in, up, connect. Now I draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect on the left, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect on the right. Come up to the top, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect on the top, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect on the bottom. Now, I'm going to fill in the inside rectangle with a picture, but you could use this as a frame and put a photo there, but let's do a picture. So I put a dot, <clears throat> excuse me, I draw a curve line down, go back to the dot, curve line down, connect. I'm going to mimic that line again. I'm going to go on the inside and draw a curve line down curve line down, connect. Right at this point, I draw a straight diagonal line up, zigzag, zigzag, straight diagonal line down, and connect. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, what's interesting about coloring this in is that I'm only using five colors, but because I'm using them in different ways next to other colors they end up looking like there's a lot going on so the first color I'm going to do is my red and I'm going to color in my inside heart red also then I'm going to color this section pink on the right and I'm going to come back over and color this section pink on the left because I'm going to use some of my colors symmetrically just like I use some of my drawings. Then I come in and I'm going to color these little hearts in my wavy lines. These are also going to be pink. Okay. So what I like to do is color everything that's that color all at one time so I don't forget. Which I know I always do anyways. Okay. Now, I come in and I take yellow and I color this outside frame, yellow on the right, jump over, this outside frame, I'm going to color yellow on the left, and I'm going to color these all yellow also, on the left and on the right, okay, all the way. Now, I come up and I color my little baby circles all yellow okay <clears throat> now I take green and I color this part of my rectangle all green so this is going to be all green going all the way around and then I take blue and I color the upper part of my triptych which is a fancy way of saying three-sided. It's got three sides, one, two, three. And then I come down and I color this framing part also blue. Okay? And, of course, I come in and I do this section blue. So this is all blue. Okay? And, yes, I did forget a part. This whole part framing the heart and this top part should also be yellow. So there's a lot of coloring going on but once it gets done it looks pretty spectacular. Okay let's see what it does look like all colored in. Okay this is my Mexican triptych all colored in. You can see how vibrant the colors are. This would be a great project for Latino heritage. I would cut this out because you can fold these two sides forward and it could stand up and it would be like a little shrine. And also, like I said, you don't have to do the middle part. You could put a picture in there too. Okay. Bye-bye.